What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Ever since the announcement of the Ancient Cities when they first showed it off at Minecraft Live last year, there have been a ton of theories about what the center of the Ancient City is. Now, a lot of these theories state that this is a portal in the center of the ancient city, and I think that this is probably the correct answer, considering that reinforced deep slate is not a block that can be obtained in survival, and also it's going to be unmovable in the final release of this update. So this block cannot be obtained, cannot be moved, it sounds a lot like a portal block. Now before we get into my theory of what this portal is, let's talk about a few things that have changed or what's upcoming with the Warden and the Ancient Cities. The first of which is Swift Sneak, previously an enchantment that you can find in the Ancient Cities that you can place on your boots. This enchantment is now going to go on your leggings, making leggings a lot more useful, enchantable items, and Swift Sneak is going to be a great addition for that. Past that, talking about the loot in the ancient cities, King B Dogs has already said that the loot is really not good enough for players to want to try to uh, go to the ancient cities and avoid the warden to get, so they're probably going to be working on some better loot to find in the ancient cities to actually make it worth it to take the risk and try to avoid the warden. Now this is really great news because when I first started exploring around the ancient cities and opening up the chest, I was like, wow, this really isn't that great of loot. Of course the enchantment is nice, I would love to get the enchantment, but considering it wasn't compatible with a lot of other boot enchantments, it really wasn't worth it. Making it go on the leggings already made the loot a little more worth it, but I would love to see a lot better loot down here, considering the warden has a massive health bar and will kill you very quickly even if you're wearing full netherite armor with full protection enchantments. Now let's start talking about my theory for the ancient city portal that is in the center here. There's actually a couple theories that I want to talk about and they both center around the Warden. So the Warden, of course, is a mob that is guarding something. It's called the Warden for a reason, most likely because the gateway is some sort of gateway to a prison world or from a prison world. It would make a lot of sense if the overworld, the dimension that we've known in Minecraft for so long, was actually the prison dimension and that these gateways go back to a dimension that actually have a more civilized form of life in them. Now this does sound a little crazy especially for Minecraft but just hear me out for a second. Well just the idea of having a more civilized society on the other side of this portal doesn't seem very vanilla Minecraft. It could actually be done in a couple of different ways. On the other side of this portal could just be a world with more advanced villagers that had built way different structures than what we're seeing in the current overworld. We could see castles, uh, markets, things like that that villagers construct. Villagers could also be more advanced and have built redstone within their cities. Now we do have some cases of redstone traps such as in the jungle temples and things like that, so it is apparent that somebody in Minecraft before us has used redstone to some extent. And it would make sense if that society had left the world and gone through this portal or created this portal and trapped the player in it with some of the basic things from their previous society. A dimension of new structures, new types of villagers, villagers that can do redstone, things like that would be an insanely cool update to see. Of course, it is very unlikely. The more likely solution to this is that we're going to see some sort of skulk dimension that is in some way related to death. So the warden is an undead mob, and also we have a few other hints at why this could be related to death. So of course, the skulk growth, the skulk catalyst, all of that is powered by XP, so when you kill mobs around it, they die, they release XP, and that goes into that, expanding the skulk around that certain area. It would make a lot of sense if this skulk growth, everything like that, was being seeped out of the portal into the overworld, and the warden was an object placed in these ancient cities and in the deep dark biomes to actually try to protect uh, the overworld from whatever is coming out of that portal, and by protecting the overworld, also preventing the player from igniting however the portal is to light. So basically, my two favorite theories are complete opposites of each other. One is a portal that leads to a dimension where villagers can do redstone, they've built amazing structures, things like that, that would be really incredible to see, especially considering we could better understand the villager lore and things like that. The other theory is that the skulk growth is something from a dimension of death. 
and this would be very cool to see as well. It would be very interesting to see how exactly Mo Mojang goes about implementing this into the Minecraft game, but we're really not going to see any of these changes for a few updates. They have already stated that they're not going to be adding a new dimension until into Minecraft until they complete the other dimensions that are currently in the game. Now, of course, 1.16 completely overhauled the Nether. 1.17, 1.18, and 1.19 are all going to be working on the overworld. We, of course, had the Caves and Cliffs updates, and then 1.19 is going to be the Wild update, which adds in these ancient cities, the Warden, and then also does some changes uh, to the Birch Forest, adds in Mangrove, uh, and changes up these swamps a little bit and we'll probably be seeing uh, in either 1.20 or 1.21 some more changes to some of the other biomes in the overworld. As we've already see, seen three overworld dimensions in a row now, we're probably most likely going to be seeing an in-dimension update in 1.20. I would really, really expect them to completely overhaul the end before they add any new dimension into Minecraft, but it would make a lot of sense for them to start laying the frameworks of what that new dimension could be in these earlier updates. So if we are to be getting a new dimension from the ancient cities, we probably won't see it until some of the later updates like 1.22, 1.23, after they finally overhauled the end dimension and finished up working on the uh, overworld dimension. Now at this point, considering that they are still in fairly early development of the Ancient Cities and Warden and a lot is still to change before the 1.19 update even comes out, at this point Mojang might not even know what it exactly wants to do with the new dimension. They still might be workshopping ideas and I think it is very important to start putting out theories and ideas out there that we can discuss and really figure out what this new dimension is going to be. So I've given you guys a couple theories of what I think this ancient city uh, could lead to what this ancient city really is holding in the center here is it going to be a portal very possibly but we really still don't know yet whatever you guys think that this new update could be let me know down in the comments below i really want to see your guys' theories and maybe we'll do another video covering the theories that you guys give me down in the comments below do you guys think it's going to be some form of prison dimension? Do you think that it's going to hold a new boss for us to beat in Minecraft? As the Warden really isn't a boss for us to beat, rather just an obstacle to get in our way. Or do you guys think that it could be an overworld-like dimension with more advanced villagers like I do? Or do you think it's going to be a skulk dimension full of death and decay? That is all that we have for you guys today though. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. We do a ton of different Minecraft content, 1.19 and future update theories. Of course, we cover mega bases and mods, so much more. So be sure to stick around and check out some of our other videos. We also have a brand new Discord server, so go ahead and click the link down in the description below to go ahead and join up there where we show off builds and so much more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.